just looking after our mates, eh? That's all. It was just, uh, you know, you never know when it's going to happen. And it uh, probably happened when you least expect it, but uh, you just pray you do the right thing when it happens. Do you think you were lucky? Oh, yeah. Very lucky. Oh, I think it's a blessing, eh? That no one got killed that day. And that uh, all of us who stepped on that earth over in Afghanistan all came home. Corporal Apiata joins a select group of individuals to recognise distinguished and prominent personal gallantry regardless of rank or station. His act of bravery would earn him the Victoria Cross. And last year, Willie Apiata became the first New Zealander to be awarded that honour since the Second World War. Amongst the dignitaries, a voice that meant the most. I think any dad in the world would know how that must have felt. Oh, yes. Um, even though he's so young, uh, I still wanted to have him there, eh? Because um, it's a once-in-a-lifetime moment you'll get to share with his father. It was a moment we all wanted to share in too, but it was unfamiliar territory, from private SAS soldier to public property. I was as nervous as, uh, as hell. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I walked through that door, and uh, it, was, it was quite scary actually. Yeah, you know, you know, all the cameras flashing and all of that. You know, the only flashing I've seen is from a flashbang, eh, and it makes a loud noise. But uh, you know, every time I see the old cameras flashing going off all the time, it uh, just reminds me of those. There had been a suggestion that Willie Apiata's new public profile might mean the end of his SAS career, but he and his commander felt otherwise. Willie leads a lot of training courses and remains an active member of the unit, and it's not hard to see why. It's basically like a saw enough version of those two weapons you've just seen. Right. It's got no stock. Willie is a highly skilled elite soldier. Next to him, I look like an airport baggage handler. Oh, jeez. You don't have to even stand up on this thing, let alone walk in it. <laughs> Talented though Willie is, up. he has his work cut out for him. It's got to fall off. Keep shooting it. But he gently perseveres. And we pretty much get there in the end. I was at Takaha when the hero Willie returned home to his people. It was a moving and historic event. Their pride was obvious that day. Why are you guys here today? It was in Takar I kept hearing about Willie's humility, and I wondered how he would cope with his newfound fame. A good mate of his, former Māori All Black, Matua Parkinson, told me Willie would take it in his stride. He's quite grounded, he's really grounded, so he's you know, he's just keeping his head down and, you know, just being the humble guy that he is. And I guess that's the best thing you can do. You know, you don't want to let it go to your head, otherwise there's plenty of people that can chop you down. If anything, though, Willie is facing the opposite problem. There's a thick file of public requests for him and a constant demand for information. That's led to the publishing of a biography, which, for a member of the SAS, is unexpectedly revealing. People out there want to know who I am, uh, where I'm from, and a little bit about me, and maybe for me to get a bit of peace or peace of mind. Uh, hopefully, this is this is the way to to fulfil that. Because you've actually given quite a bit of yourself in the book. Yes, you know, I have. Yeah, yeah. especially those. Uh, photos of me when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> Can we take those out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
It's hoped the book and this interview will satisfy that public appetite for Willie. He wants to move away from the spotlight for a while. You know, I was a soldier first and uh, I still have my own goals, my own career and things that I want to achieve in my life and uh, be a father to my son. Uh, but when I'm ready and when I've achieved what I want to achieve, uh, I'll give back to the people, eh? Because, you know, all the knowledge I was given is just a gift. It wasn't mine to keep. Well, you've had a lot to deal with, haven't you? I mean, this is instant fame. It's um, instant recognition, uh, adulation. I mean, you know, it came at a time when I guess a lot of people say we needed a hero and you stepped into the breach. You know, I mean, it can't be easy wandering around with that tag all the time. Yeah, well, um, you know, um, I find it the hardest thing in my life at the moment is trying to be me, you know, because uh, I have a responsibility now that I have to live up to. Yeah. It's, a, it's a huge thing to be put, a pos put on somebody's shoulders, eh, and uh, I'm doing my best, that's, that's all I can say. Right, we're going to auto now. Now it's just short bursts, eh? Now try not to let the weapon climb up this short tend to want to go up, eh? It's not that big. <laughs> no.